Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Now, before we get started, let me call it out at the very beginning. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like, comment button if you want, but make sure notifications are turned on. That way you can get these awesome videos every single day and get a little motivational piece for your day. You know, that's that's what this video is, this, this channel is all about. I know that the the format of the thumbnails has kind of changed, which, by the way, I hope that thumbnail, whatever it is, because I haven't made it yet, actually pulled you into this one. Um, today's topic is going to be about trolling and bullying. So it should have something like a troll face or something on there. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll come up with something. <clears throat> now, I do have to admit, I've been recording for um, 25 minutes already. <sighs> the sound system was messed up. I wasn't recording any sound. That happens. It happens all the time. But here we go. So we're just going to start in. Oh, um, I am collecting ice wood to um, get my money up so I can purchase more land. And by the way, I made it in one shot. And I'm not trolling on that one. That's 100% honesty. I was able to drive up that slope again all by my little self. All one shot. Done. Anyhow. <clears throat> Trolling, oh, God, I got, I've got to start all over again, don't I? I'm just, I'm just gonna hook stuff on here. I don't even know if it's gonna stay on, but <clears throat> there is a big difference in between trolling, pranking, practical jokes, and having fun, and bullying. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight. That's what our subjects are going to be. And I wanna say right off the bat, yes, I'm a troll. I love pulling pranks on people, but here's here's the difference. I don't continue if it's malicious, if it's gonna be harmful, if I think that for some reason people are, are going to be honestly upset about it, I don't do it. That's That's one of my biggest differences. There's trolls out there on the internet. There are legit trolls who will not stop. They will continuously berate you and and put you down and prove that you're wrong no matter what you say and there is no convincing them otherwise. These kind of trolls do not feed. Do not feed those trolls. Wow, that was horrible. None of that stayed on, did it? Oh, goodness. You know what? We'll be back. We'll be back. This is This is plenty for now. Do, 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 do. Trolling, all right, and practical jokes. A lot of people kind of get the the two like intertwined and mixed up. Practical jokes are funny. In the, most of the time, the intent of a practical joke is to embarrass someone. You know, it's to make fun uh, in the moment, but not to leave a lasting impression that's going to hurt somebody. You know, that's that's not funny. That's not fun to me, to them, to anyone. It's horrible. That's a bad, bad thing to do to someone. Are we too close? No, we're fine. <sighs> oh. We almost weren't fine. We almost were bad. Anyhow, um, I was talking before, what was I saying? I, I said a whole emotional state of, um... oh, oh, okay. So, if you're getting bullied at school, there's a difference between harassment, practical joking, and bullying. Bullying is constant, and it's degrading, and it's hurtful. If you're getting bullied, don't put up with it. The only thing, you, like, ignore it, walk away, don't try and prove a point to them, don't say, well, Code said this, just ignore them. If that does not work, if they continuously say stuff, if they're, it's every day, if they're physically harming you, you tell someone immediately and you stand up for yourself because that should not fly. That is wrong. That's bullying. Now, <clears throat> practical jokes. Um, and what I call mini trolling, like little, little trolls, it's all in good jest. It's, it's good, you know, it's healthy to have a good laugh, and it's healthy to laugh along with it if you're the person who got trolled, you know? And you can ask Jack. I've trolled him a couple times. It's fine. Um, the difference is when, when you're with your friends and you're joking around and you're cutting up and they're calling you names, 
you know? It's okay for, you know, bonding and stuff like that. But if it's on a daily basis that they're saying something to you and it doesn't make you feel right, like it's putting you down, you need to tell them. And a lot of people are like, Code, this is such a serious topic. I thought you were mostly for the demographics of kids. True. But guess what? This is going to, out to the adults, too. This is going out to the parents. If you're going to work every single day and people are calling you names and they're berating you and constantly saying the same thing over and over and over again, you need to tell them. Now, I know <clears throat> a lot of men out there are like, well, that's not what men do. We're tough. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Your, your feelings are still valid and you are still allowed to say something and there's not a man that i know that, and i've there's not a person I'll, I'll say person because there's a lot of people out there there's not a person i know that if you come to them directly and you say hey look i know that we have fun sometimes but <laughs> you saying this every single day it's it's getting old it's it's actually affecting me it's it's hurting my feelings if you say that to somebody they're going to listen and that's one of the biggest things is communication talk talk to someone say hey i don't like that you're saying that <clears throat> and if they blow, blow it off like whatever blah, 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 tell them again no i'm serious and you tell them directly because if you tell them directly and you are serious like hey don't do it again just stop or let's let's do something else do something different they'll listen because if they don't after that then it it's, turns into something legal. And I'm not going to get into that, but <clears throat> tell somebody. If you're getting bullied on the bus, tell someone. If you're getting bullied in some place that you can't get away from the person, tell someone. And if you're in a place where you can't tell anyone, defend yourself. That doesn't mean haul off and deck the person in the face because you might not be a better fighter than them. And that, that's the last... Thing that you want to do you do not want to get into a fight in a place where there's no help but try and get away try and talk it out talking is the best weapon you can, you've got and there's a lot of people who are not very good talkers I'm not a very good talker <laughs> code you're a youtuber you do great you're right I do great in a closed environment where I can be with my own thoughts <clears throat> and even then I sometimes get away from words like uh, I don't think words I don't word well you know you're not the only person there's plenty of us well, what happened there oh okay okay that was a bit weird or is there new stones coming down <clears throat> I might have to try that just put a, a tree in the back of the the truck, run it into a a, a rock, and see if it destroys the rock. <gasps> we'll have to do that next. Anyhow, the main the main point that I wanted to make today is, yes, I'm a troll. Yes, I like trolling. Yes, it's fun. You might even see it in my comments every once in a while where. I'll berate somebody, or, or I'll make a funny. <laughs> People are like, Code, stop with the dad jokes. They're not really dad jokes. I mean, they're, they're just me coming back at you in specific ways. But no, for the most part, if uh, if I'm writing a comment to somebody and I reread it and I'm, I'm like, that sounds harsh, that sounds mean, I'm, I'm not going to do that to you. I, I will usually just delete the comment or I will remove my comment. But I, I won't respond to, to trollish things. Every once in a while I will. You know. Just whenever I'm feeling. Feeling it. <clears throat> but. Like I said. There is a huge difference between trolling. And practical jokes. And pranks. You know. Pranks are fun when they don't go too far. And everybody can laugh when it's done. If it's a prank and only one person's laughing, the other person who got pranked isn't laughing, you might want to rethink about the, the prank itself. It might not be good. <clears throat> so 
So um, the reason I bring this up is because my son had a problem with pranking um, a few years back. Like he would walk into the room, punch you in the leg and say, get pranked. I'm like, that's not a prank. That's bullying. He's like, what's the difference? So I, I had to sit down and think about, well, what is the difference? What's the, what's the difference between smacking somebody in the leg and saying pranked versus putting water above a door and having them open it and it falls on their head, you know? Better yet, if uh, if you take those little punch holes out of a, a bunch of hole punches. the Okay, so you know what a hole punch is, right? You take a piece of paper, you put it in, and you push it down, and it makes the little holes for you. Well, <clears throat> whenever I worked as a correctional officer, uh oh Whenever I worked as a correctional officer, it's, it's Matrix is messaging me. I'll have to message you back, buddy. He, uh, whenever I worked as a correctional officer, ah, oh, come on, dude. <laughs> I, uh, I would wait until the end of shift. And this is the kind of thing that we did in between, in between, um, the different shifts. Cause there, I think there was three shifts total and each one had its own captain and sergeants and stuff like that. Anyhow, I was on the night shift most of the time and we'd have to do a bunch of paperwork, like a ton of paperwork. And by the end of the paperwork, it, you'd have to use these hole punches on 30, 40, 50 pieces of paper at a time. You book 40, 50, 60 people a day, and you got a lot of hole punches by the end of the shift, right? So <clears throat> what I did is I emptied out one of those hole punches into the bottom of the uh, the box fan that we had down there in booking. <laughs> so when somebody walked in, it's like, oh man, it's hot in here. And they went to go turn on that fan. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, me being a good sport, I stayed behind and, and helped clean it up and stuff. Even though I was just on like a 12 hour shift, it was still funny. I liked it. I liked the look, the look on people's faces when it happens. <laughs> One of my, one of my sergeants, one time, <laughs> I don't know if this is a prank or not. He was eating Skittles and <laughs> we're sitting there, we're all cleaning up. He's all done with his station for the night. He's got all the paperwork signed and, and done. We're all getting ready for uh, shift change. And he says, hey, do you want some of these Skittles? I, I, I bought them and I'm not gonna finish them before the end of the shift. I'm like, yeah, sure. He pours me a nice big handful and I go Ugh! and just throw the entire <laughs> all over the booking area it was great I did a lot of work I promise um, <laughs> I did work as a correctional officer um, but there was there was a lot of good stories a lot of stories that I can't tell at like Thanksgiving dinner because <laughs> you know might scare some of the family but you know um, I, I think your sense of humor has to be a little a little demented in order to work as a correctional officer. Is there is there anybody whose dad or whose mom is a correctional officer who's watching right now? Because if or yourself, Mangry, I know I know you do security. I don't know if it's corrections or not, but dude, I have high respect for anybody who works in the security field or for anybody that works in the um, law enforcement field. Seriously big bad respects um it just it got to the point where i was putting on my uniform every single day and i would physically get sick i was like Ugh. i knew i would have to go in there and deal with prisoners and with inmates for the next 12 hours knowing that there's some inmates in there that just don't like me just because i wore a uniform just because i was a cop but i wasn't I wasn't a cop. I wasn't commissioned. I'm a correctional officer, you know? But it didn't matter. I think the job eventually started wearing on me. And that's why that's why I quit. I didn't quit like right off the bat. I actually was going to school while working night shifts and raising two kids. And I, I didn't start the YouTube biz until after I was uh, working in Oh, tech working in IT. But huge shout out to my boss, my bro. Thank you. Thank you for the ability to work remote. Thank you for the ability to program amazing things every single day. 
you know, that's that's a huge shout out to him and to uh, all my coworkers who put up with my antics all the time. What what's strange is I always feel like my coworkers, the other IT nerds, don't quite understand my mentality. Especially when it comes to like programming and coding and everything else. I just get, I get so excited and lost in the code. Uh, I know that one person inside the comments has been asking, you've been asking multiple times, hey, when are you gonna have another programming episode? When are you going to tell us more about scripting and stuff? Trust me, I've got stuff on the back burner and there's a reason why it's on the back burner at the moment, but I don't know what I can say per my contract. So you'll just have to wait. I promise things will be coming soon. Uh, Dad, you already know about it. I've told you, but for everybody else, I'm, I'm not saying anything at the moment. But yeah. what is this episode about? Trolling, trolling. So um, no, the episode is about trolling. It's about practical jokes. It's about how to handle trolls. And if you were a YouTuber, if you were getting comments, if you're anywhere in the spotlight, then you're going to get trolls. It's the internet. That's how this stuff works. I wish it didn't work like that, and I'm trying for a better world, and that's why you're here watching, is to try and get other people to understand the exact same thing. Yes, every once in a while, I'll put a troll comment out there. Yes, it's just to get a reaction of some kind, even if it's just a dad joke. For example, um, I, I don't know how many of you know what a Zippo is. Is it a Zippo? Do you, do you know what a Zippo is? Okay, well, I'm just gonna say the joke anyway. What's the difference between a hippo and a Zippo? A hippo weighs about a ton. A Zippo is a little lighter. <laughs> okay, I have to laugh at my own joke because there's nobody else around to laugh for me, so. Uh, anyhow, <clears throat> there was another one that I posted on Twitter last night. It was, uh, what does a nosy pepper do? It gets jalapeno business. <laughs> it gets jalapeno business. Oh man. Wah, wah. <laughs> Can I get a hashtag cringe? <laughs> Actually, no, don't do that. I think cringe is like one of my, uh, my blocked words. <laughs> Your comment won't come through. Be like, why is nobody commenting? Hashtag cringe all in the, uh, waiting for reviews. <laughs> oh man, that'd be bad. That'd be so bad. Anyhow, if you are getting bullied or if it's, if it's really bad, talk to someone, tell them what's going on. Tell them how you feel. That is that you'll, you'll notice a trend with most of my videos. Talk to someone because being left alone with your thoughts, I know how that is. And I know how you can think to yourself, man, if I had just done this, if I just said that, if I could have handled that situation differently. In the moment, your brain's not wired to do that, but your brain is definitely wired to handle the situation after the fact and come, with a, come up with alternate scenarios and situations, which probably wouldn't have happened. I mean, in all likelihood, it probably would not have happened that way. But one of our survival techniques, one of the things that we do as humans is to come up with alternative realities, alternative situations to cope with the things that we can't deal with. So a little bit of insight from one IT ADHD nerd from, from the internet. I hope it helps. I hope my videos do help, you know? And I know there's there's a lot of you that comment down below and you you tell me, like, Code, your video calmed me down today. Code, you're, I, I feel a hundred times better after your videos. I don't know why. I know why. It's because it's taking time out of the day to get away from reality, to snap back to reality from your day-to-day -day life, you know? That's what this video is about. That's what this channel is about. It's to help you relax, forget about the day, just go and have fun, no matter what it is. Um, a lot of people will give me grief about still playing lumber, 
But you know what? This is so relaxing. I mean, it's a bit of a task what I'm doing right now, but the redundancy is, I think that's what I love about it. Is because I know exactly what I'm doing, where I'm going, what to do. I don't really have to think about it. I'm just doing. I'm just existing inside Lumberland. Oh, that was a big piece. That's gonna be worth a lot. Now, there was somebody I saw the other day who was like doing this weird jumpy thingy. Like, then that's some skills right there. That's some skills. Uh oh, that won't work. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. Jump shot. Oh, okay. Maybe I need to back, back, back it up. How have you been? How's your day? Are you okay? I wanted to tell you I care about you today. I think you're awesome and I think you're special. And if you for some reason think to yourself, no, I'm a mean person or no, I'm not worth it. Don't listen to yourself. It's not true. And if somebody else is telling you that, if they're, they're putting you down, it's not true. It's not you. You are awesome. And you need, to, you need to take that confidence and run with it. Because if you don't toot your own horn sometimes, nobody else will probably toot it for you. you. You've got to be your own advocate. Because being human is hard. Being a kid is even harder. And there's so much drama that we can bring into the life of a child that doesn't have anything to do with real-world drama. I mean, the... The anxiety of getting your shoes tied. If you don't know how to tie your shoes, do not worry. Okay? If you want to learn how to tie your shoes, you can always practice. If you don't want to learn and you have no want to, to learn how to tie your shoes, we have slip-ons, we have Velcro, we have alternatives. You don't need to learn how to tie your shoe. It's fine. If you speak with a lisp, or if you have a speech impediment. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to somebody who's making fun of the way that you talk. I had a speech impediment whenever I was younger, and eventually I grew out of it. Now, I also learned to like speak in different accents and make funny voices and stuff like that along the way, but I mean, I think that was just part of my ADHD anyway. And you can ask most people with ADHD, we just do funny voices sometimes. My, uh, my son, he is in speech therapy right now to work on like THs and Rs and Ls sounds because he has the same thing. And I feel bad for him sometimes, but at the same time, he can communicate just fine. And he's brilliant. He's so smart. And that's not just like, oh, it's a dad saying his kid's smart. No, I'm talking about this kid tells me about the cardinal infinities and, and the absolute zeros and like talks to me about black holes. That kind of smart. He's telling me how the gravitational pull of two black holes could come together and just form one bigger black hole. Like, wouldn't it cause a white hole? Wouldn't it be like dividing by zero? Can you divide by zero? He's like, no, this is how it really works. <laughs> That is smart. <sighs> of course, my daughter is a teenage daughter. She's always right about everything she does. She's going on 23 right now. Just kidding. Kiddo, if you're watching, I love you too. I think the world can be a better place. And I think my videos can help get us there. Even if nobody ever listens to me, it's fine. You know, at least I put the message out. So if there's anybody that wanted to listen, they can. I just hope, I hope it makes a difference. That's all I can do. I can hope and dream, can't I? Ooh. Ooh.
Is there a faster way to get this out of the back of the car? Like, there's, there's got to be a better way, right? Hmm. Oh, that's getting dizzy. Ugh. How much did we need? 33,000 for a new plot? I think it was 33,000. Um, I'm thinking about actually making one of those troll bridges like that guy made where it like blocks off people But I kind of want to put a spin on it where there's two bridges Who sit side by side like this and as you drive across the the, the road It'll come together in a box and it'll box you in I don't, I don't know how well that'll work, but I thought it'd be funny Who knows I might try something different Troll bridge, door bridge. Do you guys know how to make door bridges? I think it's I think it's definitely time for another tutorial video on how to make door bridges. How the physics of those things work. Oh, dizzy. Mmm, I'm so dizzy, my head is spinning. Fifty-two thousand. Not bad. I mean, we still have more trees over here. That was only half the trees, right? <gasps> Ooh, maybe I should make a, uh, should I make one of those um, mod saws? I should make a mod saw, but that's gonna require a lot more money than I got. Hold on, how much does it cost for one of the XLs, the two XLs? Hmm, boink. If I had one of these, is that the big one? That's not the XL. Is this the XL? Oh, that's the XL. 86,500. I've only got 52,600. So, I think that's gonna be my next big purchase. Should we, should we wait until we get full land and then we'll come back for that? Or should we go ahead and get that and then start in on uh, lava wood? Hmm, hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Well, okay. I'm not gonna have time to, to finish these out by the end of uh, the video. You know, I can, I can keep going for a little bit. It's fine. We're here to relax. I'll give you the full 30 minutes tonight. <sighs> Coffee. It's great for uh, bedtime. Uh oh, I thought I was chopping this one. Wrong one. Now we're gonna have a little bitty piece pop off there. It's not gonna be able to turn into uh, a plank at all, is it? Nope. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Calm, dude. Calm down. Okay, that works. Hmm. I think I covered everything tonight. I'm, sorry, I'm sitting here trying to think. Have I covered all the bases of trolling, I'm a troll, how to troll? I didn't cover how to troll. When you go to troll somebody, usually it's just spur of the moment on, on the fly. And in those moments, you should stop, reread what you wrote before you send it. Because once you hit that send button, there's no going back. The internet is ruthless. And if your comment is skewed wrong, if it's taken the wrong way, it could very well cost you your job. It very well could get you banned, could get you kicked out of a, an area that you love playing in. I've had many, many kids and some adults who said just the wrong thing in the wrong way and got kicked or banned from my Discord server. And they were clueless as to what happened, but I mean, <sighs> it's very clear how my rules inside the Discord server go. It's, it's clean cut. Be nice, don't be evil. Listen to the admins and get a unicorn. That's the rules. Now the last one's just for fun, but 
that's basically it. That's why I tell you guys every single day on, on my videos, inside my YouTube channel, on Twitter sometimes. Okay, Twitter's a little bit more loose, but I still tell you, just be nice. Be a good person, you know? And there's certain standards to that. Like, who's to say what a good person is? Maybe I'm doing it completely wrong. Maybe I'm the worst person in the world because I'm telling you to be nice. But you know what? It... It should feel good. Whatever you type, whatever you do, if you get a good feeling after you send it, then that that should be an indicator. If you feel bad after it, there's some people who, who just don't have that trigger. They don't feel bad about the stuff they say. But for the most part, it's the feeling that you get. And it's not for praise. It's not for... Um, recognition or reward you should do it because you want to because it feels good because that was the right thing again that's very subjective isn't it what is the right thing no i'll leave that up to you to decide all for yourself um like i said we're not going to be able to um sell this off tonight but i can definitely get it all chopped up and, and put away so I will do that after the fact, but for now, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Askins, Good Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Hey, check out the Subnautica series. If you didn't see it, I'm doing a Subnautica Below Zero as well. It's going to come out at 12 o'clock. That's six hours from now, the time of this release. Do it. It's awesome. I love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Hold on. I missed the button again. There it is. Is it? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, oh true. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.